gotten wins last year. Is there more pressure trying to duplicate that or just taking a program up to that level? I don't think there's any pressure. I mean, this year's team is different, different group of guys, different leaders, uh, but the foundation was laid by the guys who, who left last year. And, and um, you know, I just think that this team is fired up to go out and play, see where we're at, and, and we're, we're trying to take the program forward. That's, that's obviously going to be, always going to be the goal, but I don't think there's any pressure. Talk about the freshmen a little bit. You brought in one of the top freshman classes in the nation, or Big Ten anyway. You see any of those guys maybe contributing right away? Yeah, I think I think there'll be several. I mean, a lot of guys are really fighting for spots at this point, and, and um, you know, Zach Daniels has played extremely well from Cedar Rapids Kennedy. Um, I think Zach will have a role both on the mound, and I think he'll help us out as a position player as well. Robert Newstrom uh, from Sioux City North. Robert has played very well uh, this fall and, and early early season indoors. I think you'll see Robert get a get a lot of at-bats and, and have a pretty big role with this team. And, you know, there's a lot of guys, uh, Sammy Lizarraga, all those guys are, are, are really doing a good job and, and, and really fighting for spots. Mitch Bowe's really done a nice job uh, in the infield. So, yeah, I think you're going to see um, some of those freshmen step in right away and get some get some at-bats and get some innings on the mound. Who do you see your top three pitchers starting out? Well, the... I can tell you the one and the three. I mean, and really the three is not the three. It just works out best for, for Calvin. It'll be uh, Tyler Payton on Friday, Calvin Matthews on Sunday, at least starting out. And um, the third spot is, is kind of a battle and really just trying to make the right decision. Ryan Erickson, we're looking at Ryan Erickson and um, Nick Gallagher and then CJ Elder are the three guys who are really kind of competing for that spot. Those guys will all throw this weekend, and we'll probably make that decision on Monday, but uh, we're in good shape with any one of them. What are some of the main areas or things that you uh, want to see when you open up at Dallas Baptist? Um, I guess what I really want to see is our confidence level, where we're at, and, and, and how we play as a team, and then hustle and effort. And, and I want to see if this team has that without me being the one to initiate it all the time. And that's that's what I'm hoping because when you lose a group of leaders like Mangler and Tool and Goodman and, and all those guys that we had last season, um, you know, you hope that the next group of leaders step up and they manage that from within. And, and so that's gonna be one of the things that I'm looking at uh, right away, even more so than probably the results. It's gonna be the culture and how we're handling our business, how we're dealing with failure, uh, that, that, that confidence that, that you really need to, to last a long season and be able to compete day in and day out, and just flat out how we go out and compete against a good team. Those are the things I'm really gonna look at. Last year, Mangler was the guy that wasn't afraid to say something, and when he spoke, mm -hmm. teammates shut up and listened. Who takes that role this year? Well, Tyler Radke has really stepped up and, and taken that role. You know, Tyler was a captain last year. Um, he was the one, day one in the fall, that, that was the guy that stepped up and, and, and took over the clubhouse. He's got great help. He's got Jimmy Franco's, and he's and he's got Nick Rossetti, and he's got uh, Calvin Matthews. But but Tyler is the one uh, who who is really taking Jake's spot, and is the one that's not afraid to call guys out and. and Things. He does a nice job. He's done a great job with his leadership. How important was it getting Peyton back for this last year? Oh, extremely important. Um, first of all, it was something that none of us thought would happen. So it was a, a huge bonus and a huge boon for us getting, you know, one of the best players in the in the Big Ten and one of the best players in the country to come back to school. Our Friday night starter, our three-hole hitter, completely changed the dynamics of what this year uh, would have been without him. Well, you you were surprised. Yes. You thought he was gone. I think all of us thought no chance. Uh, I'm talking when the school year started mm -hmm. into the spring as the draft drew near and we had our meetings with our guys. I knew then that there was a chance that he might not. But but even then, uh, when it comes down to the day and they're on the phone with you in the seventh round offering you a certain amount of money, are, are you strong enough to say no? And, uh, you know, Tyler, Tyler stuck to his guns. He had his number. When they didn't get to his number, he said, you know, it's worth it for me to come back to school, get my degree, help this team get better, try to get to Omaha, try to do things we didn't do last year. So, you know, very, very happy that, that Tyler made that decision, extremely mature decision and unselfish decision.
Coach, when you talk about the competition at different positions, will you use the early season games to kind of carve up the innings or kind of pick and choose throughout the year when you work people in? Um, I think the first three or four weeks will, will be an experiment in some positions. I think some positions are, are pretty well set, you know, barring an injury or something. And then uh, it, it's always a little bit of an experiment with the bullpen and how that's going to work mm -hmm. out. And, um, you know, I look, I look back to two years ago and, you know, Jared Mandel didn't throw I don't think he threw a pitch until virtually April, and then he ended up carrying us down the stretch. And so the bullpen can definitely change as the season goes on. We've got a good plan going in. We'll, we'll get the guys out there that we want to see. We'll mix and max it, match at some positions. We'll platoon at some positions, and then you know those first four weeks um, will will be the time for us to kind of come up with a consistent lineup and a consistent rotation of the bullpen.